Views and opinions expressed on this channel are not and should not be considered as financial advice. I'm not a certified financial advisor and not registered with the FSCA. Welcome back to Chat with Issa, everyone. It's still your favorite Tsonga girl. Well, congratulations. Congratulations to Miss South Africa, Davi Nogeri. But just a little reminder, guys. You know I'm still your favorite song, girl, okay? One of mine, one. Once again, we have done January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and now it is the August investment. And I do believe and trust that you guys have been diligent as well with your investments. If you haven't, it's never too late to start and to be consistent, okay? Every time you get that notification from this side, it must be a reminder that, A, hey, Time to invest every time you're spending on things you shouldn't be spending on or that are not so important. Let that be a reminder that I can buy some shares. I can buy a portion of a share. I can buy one share, two shares, whatever. Okay. So don't wait until we have like a huge amount of money first in order for you to start investing. And don't like, just don't think that you always need a lot of money. Even if you've already bought shares and you just feel like, you know what? I want to hoi in 50 bucks. Hoi in 50 bucks. You chill, man. Hey. <laughs> this month, um, I invested a total amount of 3,000 rands. I don't want to over invest. A part of me was like, put, put it in, put it in, invest, mama, invest. And I was like, uh uh, this, uh, remember, remember, focus, mama. Wafamba, man, wafamba, wafamba. You know, you're gonna need money along the way, money available in your bank account, not disinvesting. So I was like, okay, let me calm down. And also, there's a lot of excitement in September as well, in terms of investment so i'm like okay the amount that i wanted to invest this month let me just hold it because september is gonna be exciting and i'll tell you guys why okay so in today's video i'll once again be sharing the companies that i've invested in and we'll also discuss the dividends confetti ah, david david da, 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 da. <laughs> Exactly, but before we do that, let's do the normal, usual ritual of tip it to the screen and cheers. Today it's just a cup of black coffee, nothing hectic, but essentially the cheers is always to you guys who really help the channel to grow. The new subscribers, the day one subscribers, subscribers, <laughs> being subscribers, engagers, supporters, sharers, everything you know so tip it to the screen whatever you might be drinking or eating and let's do the cooking cooking cheers thank you nikansa and sip <laughs> coffee nothing beats coffee remember guys DIY investing is still very new, okay so we invest and we buy shares we hear about something else and we like yeah I'm also in there, right? Um, we don't have investment managers or financial advisors. And I'm not saying go and get one. And I'm also not saying don't go and get one. But as DIY investors, there's so much that we can learn about the economy. There's so much that we can learn about finances and about investing and about different companies. Actually, DIY investing is very empowering because you need to stay in tune with what's going on in the companies that you've invested in so that you can look for opportunities and find those opportunities. Because if you're just like, yeah, I'm investing one day, it's up one day, it's down. The share price is up. It's down. You're not sure like, okay, why is it up? Why is it down? Ah, but they said investing is like that, you know, ah, well, that's how investing works. But why is it up why is it down actually sometimes there's certain things that you can try to time based on what is going on with the economy and what's going on in that company okay so being someone who is in tune with what's going on in their portfolio and how do you know that you check your portfolio so guys please stop deleting your apps Stop deleting your apps. 
stop deleting your apps guys look like look at what's going on with the share price on your portfolios and do a google search like search mtn for example and all the news articles recent news articles will come up read a few paragraphs then you know what's going on and then maybe that can give you an indication as to why is the share price dropping a bit and you know that mtn is a company that you maybe have just you know 20 shares in and you're like well maybe i should build the shares that i have there mtn is just an example guys i'm not saying there's something specific there but this is just an example right maybe let me build the amount of shares that i have there and mm, i have a little problem you know when dividends are paid out i'm like why do i only have such a small number of shares in this company and it irritates me it's like why this uh, why so when i was investing this month i was like let's focus hun yeah i call myself hun when i'm talking to myself i'm nice i'm nice i say nice things i'm like let's focus hun we 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 have one share here two shares there 10 shares there 200 400 shares there a thousand shares there you know and then those companies there are companies that are paying good dividends and i only have nine shares there are companies that are performing really well but at the time when they were not performing very well i didn't build my share holding the amount of shares that i hold and i'm like uh-uh you're still jumping open up this uh uh-uh let's focus so i thought okay this is what i would like ideally you can have your own goal and you can set your own goal okay ideally i would like to have at least minimum 100 shares in the companies that i have invested in yes some companies share prices are very high and it can be very expensive but i can build it over time and i can look for those times when they're hitting some lows for me to go in and buy just a little more shares right so i looked at my share holdings in these different companies and i'm like okay okay so when i look for opportunity in my portfolio i'm going to look at those companies where i have less than 100 shares if i can see that the average buy price my average buy price versus what the current price is on the stock market is lower or not there isn't huge such a huge difference i'll buy more shares and build my shareholding in that company yes i might not always stick to it because sometimes opportunity will present itself elsewhere on the stock market and i might want to put my money there but that's one thing that i've identified and i think that as diy investors we might actually just be kind of going through a similar thing so look at the companies that you hold and look at how many shares you have in those companies i'm sure it's really heartbreaking when they pay a dividend and you're like i only had two shares two shares <sighs> so you might be thinking to yourself okay but but then when is the best time to buy shares i've already indicated one of them like when you're looking at the um, your shareholding and you can see that okay the average buy price versus the current price your average buy price so average price that you've paid to buy these shares versus the current price right and also another time is usually round about after a company has paid out a dividend usually when a company pay attention to those times when a company announces a dividend that they're gonna pay out usually the share price will go up why because Obviously, if I tell you, oh, company X is paying out a dividend of X amount, the first thing that's going to go on in your mind and mine is, oh, let me go and buy a couple more shares so that I can also get that dividend, right? How many other investors are thinking the same thing? So that shoots up the share price, right? So that's not necessarily the most ideal time for you to go and buy shares in that company. Not necessarily, okay? But what happens after the dividend is paid out? People are like, mm, okay, now we have the dividend. Mm, I'm going to sell because the share price, remember it's high because people bought a whole bunch of shares when the announcement was made. 
it's not only a dividend announcement but also just any positive news positive announcements that the company makes makes people feel like the share price is gonna go up let me go and buy more shares and then sell them later so don't be one of those people sometimes wait it out and that's where i'm at with my investing journey now when i hear something i'm like mm. and then i'll just every day you know when you're on your phone instead of opening instagram just open your app look at the graph see what's going on with the share price you know just look and look and look it's teaching you something and it's also indicating okay is this opportunity for me to buy or opportunity for me to sell Please do not sell your shares until the dividend is paid out because then you're not going to get it. Okay. So I added more shares to um, Discovery, Transaction Capital, Sibanya Still Waters and Anglo Platinum. Okay. Anglo Platinum, not so long ago, they just paid a dividend. Yeah, I got the notification. Sibanya Still Waters, not so long ago, Sibanya was like that company everybody was investing in. Then the, the mining strikes happened for a very long time. People were skeptical. Everyone's quiet now. I'm not really talking much about Sibanya Still Waters. Yes, on my portfolio, it's sitting at a loss. And I'm like, there's still something here with this company. And I'm just going to build my shareholding. I'm going to focus, focus. Okay, transaction capital, same story. I'm like, this has gone below the uh, price that I paid for these shares. So I'm sitting at a loss. But why did I invest in this company? Remember, I also did do a video talking about transaction capital. Here's the link. You can watch it if you haven't watched it already. But there's a reason I started investing in that company, right? And why not use this opportunity to build my shareholding? So I did that. Okay. Uh, same thing with discovery. I think I invested in them, was it last month or the month before? But I'm like building my shareholding and I'm being a focused hun. The key takeaway here is that scheme through your portfolio and look for opportunity for you to build your shareholding in those companies where you have less shares, okay? Don't listen to the noise. Don't flow with the noise because you will sit at a loss because trust me so many people investing in a particular company that drives up the share price and you're probably going to pay a lot more money for one share than you should be paying okay guys so when you hear something don't get that knee jerk reaction it seems like a shoulder jerk <coughs> finger <laughs> let me buy mm, just have a look listen to the, to the news podcasts search on the internet see what's going on what was the announcement what's going on what's the chitter chatter chatter hmm? and then just wait it out you know and just wait and then focus on building your shareholding in those companies that you have less shares in there's a reason why you started investing in those companies i really hope that it's because you did do your research before you started investing in them and not necessarily that somebody else just told you that oh this is a great company to invest in doing research is really easy guys it's really easy we have smartphones okay and remember as well that opportunity is not always documented in the news right so as much as we might listen to financial podcasts and we might search um on the internet opportunities can just be found when you just look through your portfolio you'll find that oh nothing was announced about this company but the share price is kind of dropping a bit or has dropped and I can just buy more shares now. If you want this to be a lucrative long-term game for you, okay, you, you want to really get as much as you can at that low price, okay? So this is not the time to run and hide. This is not the time to delete your app. This is the time where you like, okay. How much more money can I put in here? How much more money can I put in here? How much more money can I put there? And then afterwards, Dema, Glacier, move on with your life. <laughs> okay, let's go. Confetti. Yo, David, David, da 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 da. -da. Confetti. Yo, David, David, da da. Who doesn't enjoy receiving dividends? Dividends are nice. But sometimes, hey, dividends, dividends can be my challenge. Yeah! 
my chillin, 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 my and some companies he be pure it might be some rants awesome okay so for my portfolio the dividends that i received are from easy properties my Zara account and tfsa and please let us know as well which dividends you received and follow with a confetti emoji <laughs> Uh, in my Zara account, I received the Anglo Platinum Limited dividend. They paid two dividends. So 41 Rand for the ordinary one and 40 bucks for the um, special one. And that was sweet. That was nice. And then right after paying the dividend, so <laughs> opportunity to buy more shares. And that's exactly what I did. I accepted the dividend. Thank you very much. Really, really nice. And actually, guys, Remember the um, dividend preference uh, setting where you set it so that your dividends are automatically uh, reinvested into that particular company, like automatically gets paid out and then on easy equities automatically without you having to do anything, it will just get reinvested into that company. I actually, I don't, I don't like that option for the Zara account. Mm-mm. For the TFSA, it makes sense. I'm okay with that. Because when a dividend is announced, more people will be like, I'm going to go buy those shares so that I can get that dividend, right? So it drives up the share price. When the dividend gets paid out, people literally sell their shares, okay? But now, when my dividend clocks in, it automatically gets reinvested. So that means that even the price per share that i'm paying is higher than the true value of the share at that time so i'm like uh -uh. Mm -mm. i want my dividends to reflect in my balance in my czar account only in the tfsa must it be reinvested but in the settings there's no option like that you have to like literally go to each and every company in your Zara account, in your whatever account, like at e each and every single company and change the setting. Or you change the setting in your TFSA. Like go, go and see guys, you'll see what I'm talking about. So I went and I changed for each and every company in my Zara account. It stays the same for my TFSA. Let it be reinvested because right? But with those other dividends that are, it's quite a good amount. I could take that money and go and invest it in a company whose share price is maybe just a little low. I can just look for opportunity in my portfolio, essentially. So no, I want my dividends. I don't want them to be reinvested when it comes to my Zara account. This is my decision. And I've just told you guys, why i want it like that thank you but iron and ore also paid out a dividend at when you see that figure at 2870 and you're like what does that mean what is that what what is this that's the cents. they've written it in cents okay so you take that figure what makes how many cents make one rand hundred cents right so for you to get the rand value you take that figure and you divide it by a hundred so kumba iron and ore limited which is a company i've invested in paid out a dividend at two thousand eight hundred and seventy cents you take two thousand eight hundred and seventy cents and you divide it by a hundred that will give you 28 rand 70 but remember we have to pay dividend withholding tax and it's deducted automatically at a rate of 20 percent yeah um and then easy properties Magellan, 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 Magellan. green park life estate black brick cape town the exchange lofts which easy properties uh properties that you invest in that paid out dividends as well this month and was there any substantial amount that you got? Hmm? 
let us suffer well <laughs> the tfsa had quite a number of dividends as well and those tfsa dividends are dividends that i'm like let them be reinvested because my cheleni akona what am i gonna do with them okay and when that balance just sits in your balance you will be charged a fee a cash management fee etc etc you'll still earn a little bit of interest on that money but you don't want to keep it there you want to reinvest that money so with those machelenis let them just automatically be reinvested but in my czar account lot ek for myself invest reinvest and choose where i put the money or wait until the share price balances rebalances again after the dividend is paid out to show you girl that you watched all the way to the end right macheleni <laughs> with a black heart <laughs> thank you nakansa everyone and see you very shortly on the next one where we're going to talk about the excitement coming up in september goodbye Mm-mm.